Last year, scientists started up a new type of massive nuclear fusion reactor for the first time known as a stellarator. Researchers at the Max Planck Institute in Greifswald, Germany, injected a tiny amount of hydrogen and heated it until it became plasma, effectively mimicking conditions inside the sun. But since then scientists have been asking whether the ambitious device named Wendelstein 7X works as it is supposed to, producing the right magnetic fields. Now a research paper paper has shown tests over the past few months have proven the complex design is working as expected. The experiment is part of a worldwide effort to harness nuclear fusion, a process in which atoms join at extremely high temperatures and release large amounts of energy. Advocates acknowledge the technology is likely many decades away, but argue that, once achieved, it could replace fossil fuels and conventional nuclear fission reactors. Two of the main contenders for nuclear reactors of the future are called Togamax and Stellarators. Instead of trying to control plasma with just a 2D magnetic field, which is the approach used by the more common Togamax reactors, the Stellarator works by generating twisted 3D magnetic fields. The new results could be a key step in verifying the feasibility of Stellarators for use in future fusion reactors. Since the machine has been switched on, researchers have been trying to answer the important question of whether or not it is producing the right magnetic fields. This is crucial because the magnetic field in the machine is the only thing that will trap hot balls of plasma long enough for nuclear fusion to occur. Physicist Sam Leserson of the U.S. Department of Energy teamed with the German scientists to test the Wendelstein 7X W7X fusion energy device. Now the report, published in Nature Communications, has proven it does work as planned. We've confirmed that the magnetic cage that we've built works as designed, said one of the lead researchers, Sam Leserson from the U.S. Department of Energy's Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory. Over the coming years W7X, which is not designed to produce any energy itself, will continue to test the extreme conditions nuclear fusion devices will be subjected to. The device was first fired up in December last year using helium, which is easier to heat than hydrogen. Here we show the first physics results obtained before plasma operation that the carefully tailored topology of nested magnetic surfaces needed for good confinement is realized and that the measured deviations are smaller than one part in 100,000. The author said, to our knowledge, this is an unprecedented accuracy, both in terms of the as-built engineering of a fusion device as well as in the measurement of magnetic topology. The author said, this is a significant step forward in stellarator research since it shows that the complicated and delicate magnetic topology can be created and verified with the required accuracy. Stellarator are one type of nuclear reactor and are less widely used than tokamak fusion reactors. Stellarators confine the hot charged gas, otherwise known as plasma, that fuels fusion reactions in twisty magnetic fields. Tokamaks use a strong electric current to trap plasma inside a donut-shaped device long enough for fusion to take place. The tokamak was convinced by Soviet physicists in the 1950s and is considered fairly easy to build, but extremely difficult to operate. Operate. The twisted configuration of stellarators enables them to control the plasma with no need for the current that tokamaks must induce in the gas. Stellarator plasmas run little risk of disrupting, as can happen in tokamaks, causing the internal current to abruptly halt and fusion reactions to shut down. Fusion energy could provide near-limitless energy, ending dependence on fossil fuels for generating electricity. Fusion has the potential to cover the energy needs of the world's population into the distance in future. The author said, fusion involves placing hydrogen atoms under high heat and pressure until they fuse into helium atoms. When deuterium and tritium nuclei, which can be found in hydrogen, fuse, they form a helium nucleus, a neutron and a lot of energy. This is down by heating the fuel to temperatures in excess of 150 million degrees Celsius, forming a hot plasma. Strong magnetic fields are used to keep the plasma away from the walls so that it doesn't cool down in lost at energy potential. These are produced by superconducting coils surrounding the vessel and by an electrical current driven through the plasma. For energy production, plasma has to be confined for a sufficiently long period for fusion to occur.